Sean Miller, talented actor. Omar, how you doing? I'm good. I'm sweating. Well, well, we, you guys, we got to turn the air up. Now we're here in our nation's capital, right here at the Fight Night uh, charity boxing event. This event is dedicated to Muhammad Ali. Uh, what do you think about it? About Muhammad Ali? Yeah, the whole event. And oh, oh, the, I mean, both of them are great. So I think it's great anytime that you guys, you know, the living legend is getting honored. It's always a solid thing. Uh, I think that I think that this event is, is wonderful. And I'm, I'm happy that it's up and running. I know for a while it had dipped down a little bit. I'm glad Under Armour got involved with it. I'm glad it's all together now, and I'm here to support. It. Well, right now you're a heavyweight yourself. What do you yeah. think about the heavyweight division nowadays? A lot of guys. Like I think it's guys. nice. I think you know it would be nice if these guys could fight more often. I'm not the one getting my head bashed in, so it's easier for me to say that as a fan. Right. But at the same time, man, uh, I like that kid Joshua. I like the Brit that Andrew Joshua. Andrew Joshua, right? Why, yeah. Yeah. I like Joshua. I like Deontay Wilder. I would like to see us differ and get another go at it because I, I don't think he was lying about the blood disorder thing that happened to him in the ring when he fall out. I don't think he would have won, but I would like to. I would like to see if he, he's tough. That guy, you know. I, I think that there's a lot of guys out there at the top of the box is still uh, Vladimir Klitschko, and people underrate him and his brother, man. These right. guys have been fighting and winning for a long time. Right, right. Now, what do you think of what do you think about a fight between Klitschko and Wilder? Do think I don't think that Wilder's ready yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he's ready. I think that I think that when it happens, hopefully Wilder gets a couple more fights under his belt. But I think that that Deontay gets hit too much at this point, okay. and he ain't gonna be able to get hit too much against the Klitschko. Right, right. Now, 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 I'm interested to see what happens when the Klitschko fight actually happens. This, this, you can't overlook uh, Klitschko and uh, freaking Batman. What's the guy's name? Uh, uh, the big guy. The guy he's about to fight. Uh, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. Right, Tyson Fury. Right. Yeah, I don't think you can overlook Tyson Fury because he doesn't look scared. Right, right. Now, what do you, uh, what's your favorite fight of Muhammad Ali? Muhammad Ali has had, has had a lot of great fights. What's, uh, you know, what are your favorites? Maybe Ali Foreman was great. Ali, you know, I love Ali Spinks. I love Ali Frazier, the first one. I really loved Ali Frazier, the first one. And I love the bounce back because then he punished Joe Frazier a few times. Um, I like Ali Kid Norton. That's a great fight. That was a good fight, too. Really good fight. Yeah. Now, do you think if Muhammad Ali wouldn't have got laid off for three and a half years, do you think Muhammad Ali would have been undefeated? In that three and a half years, yeah. Nobody in the world was on this level. No doubt about it. So, yeah, I, I, I believe that. But I also think that eventually he just ended up fighting too long, wow. which is what happens to all competitors. Right, right. Now, how deadly is boxing? Obviously, you know, you're not a fighter, you're an actor. How deadly do you think, do you think it is boxing? Deadly. It's, 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 it's extremely difficult. It's a violent sport. I mean, you guys, guys give their lives in the ring. 